Hello everyone, welcome to Beaver's Hobby Channel. Today, I'm gonna unbox and test the D60B soldering iron. This one is sent to me by Secure, so thank you very much. Link to the product is in the description as always. Now let's get to it. This is like a little brother of the SQ001 I've been using, but it is cheaper and less complicated, by which I mean it doesn't have upgradable firmware. However, it still has temperature control from 100 to 400 degrees Celsius and also sleep timer, so you are not missing much here. Inside the box, we have a manual. A sticker. A stand. A hex screwdriver. Some spare screws. USB Type-C 2-barrel connector and a cable from XT60 to barrel connector and here's the iron It is pretty simple with two buttons. It runs on 12 to 24 volt. Here's where to put the tip in. And it is powered by USB Type C. You can choose the tip that comes with it too. Here I have the hoof tip so I can solder a flat surface or desolder some pins out of a PCB easier. This should be handy when I convert a receiver to microplugs. I have also got the chisel tip too. It uses the same tips as TS100 and they are easy to find. To put the tip in, Pull the rubber grip back and you'll see the screws. Put the tip in. And then screw it down. Or if you remove or change the tips regularly, you don't have to screw it down. The tip is not going to come off that easily. Comparing to the SQ001 or the TS100, this is bigger and easier to hold. The rubber grip is really comfortable. It doesn't come with a power source, so you'll have to provide your own. You can use an adapter like this with barrel connector. You can use 3 to 5 S LiPo battery to power it. When you are out in the field, this truly makes it a portable soldering iron. And since it is powered by USB Type-C, I suppose you could use a power bank too, if it can output 12 to 20 volt. Unfortunately, my power bank doesn't work with it, and I don't know if it is from the wire or something else. It is easy and simple to use. Hold the air button to start heating up. As you can see, it heats up pretty quickly at 23 volt. Hold the B button to increase the temperature. Hold the A button to decrease the temperature. And when you want to stop, hold both A and B buttons at the same time to stop heating up, and you'll see the temperature falling.
finally unplug to turn it off. Now let's check the temperature. As you can see, it is really accurate. Now I'm gonna go and solder something to see if it is any good. The result speaks for itself. This is a very good soldering iron. However, the tips don't transfer the heat as well as the original TS100 tips. So once I swap that for an original tip, I can solder a wire as big as 12 gauge very easily. So, in conclusion, I highly recommend it, especially if you want a portable soldering iron with temperature control. It is cheaper than SQ001 or TS100, but it works still as well. And that's it for this video. Please subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and hit the bell icon to get the notification whenever I upload a new video. You can follow me on Facebook or social media for quick updates, written reviews, news, and see what I'm doing between videos. Thanks for watching, and see you again next time.